Put on this computer. Hi, everybody. My name's Lee Honish. I am the former head loss mitigator for IndyMac Bank's HELOC division, and I'm simply not wired like the rest of you. Uh, I have been in real estate and banking since 1988. I have worked one very specific niche within real estate. That is people who are at least 31 days delinquent. I know you're saying to yourself, Lee, you've already gotten it wrong. It's 30 days. No, it's 31 days at 5 p.m. See, you learned something already. It's a very exciting presentation. 31 days at 5 p.m., you're 30 days late. At that moment, you're in default. I work default properties. If you're thinking to yourself, default properties mean REOs, you would be 100% incorrect. And I don't know who started that, but that's not how bankers think. I have worked it from the banking side. I've worked it from the real estate side. Uh, I'm also the guy who basically created short sales in the banking industry that everybody hates and everybody fears with the coming market. On a bright note, you won't have short sales for a while, <coughs> except San Francisco. That's just a joke for one of the people on the call, but they're working very hard on being the first negative equity uh, city in the United States by dropping about $100,000 worth of equity. Their days on market are going up. Uh, yes, at the beginning of the month, they had several hundred properties go above asking price. Towards the end of the month, Tell me if I'm wrong about any of this, Dougie G. It's going below uh, the asking price. Prices are coming down. And overall, it reduced sales prices by about the average median price by about $100,000. We're going to talk about all of that, uh, what the media is doing. Uh, there's no such thing as fake news in my universe. Let's get this straight. For all of you who live on the right side or the left side of the fence, I also think that that's crazy as well. That's just something that helps you pick a side in, in the whole thing. I am a marketing and media expert as well. In 2010, I created marketing that got me named one of the um, top marketing professional, professionals in the country. I uh, wrote an award-winning book, blah, 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 blah. Words, words, words. You don't really care about any of that. Why you're here is what's going on, right? Well, here's what's going on. You have about 400,000 listings. And we talked about this yesterday, somewhere between 400 and 500,000 listings at any given moment within the United States. That's right now. And we keep talking about supply and demand, right? So let's talk about supply in the supply and demand equation, right? So in this bizarre supply and demand equation, uh, people keep talking about this. So let's break it down. Supply-wise, it hasn't changed. And you can check the historical records. I do. If you've gotten an email from me, I'm a big fan of watching history because it repeats itself, especially in the real estate market. For the last roughly five years, we've had between 400 and 500,000 properties. Got it? Now, we have more real estate agents currently than we've had historically in quite some time. And that's a problem. That's a real thing. Uh, aging growth has increased. So now you're fighting over more. But what you should really ask yourself is, well, then it's demand, obviously. Okay. We're going to talk about some of that demand here with backed up articles in just a brief moment. But the real demand is in investors. They don't believe in the, they don't believe in the stock market. They believe, they understand they know that it's volatile and real estate is not nearly as volatile. So what investors have figured out is buying a property, doing Airbnbs, doing Verbos, refinancing, putting in renters and getting a safe five to 10% return on their money is a better investment. Most of what you see in the United States are people who've moved out of overpriced areas like Los Angeles and move to places like Florida that are on fire or to Arizona or to Austin. Now Austin's overpriced and they're leaving there and going back to Arizona or they're going to Vegas. Why? Let's take where I live here in downtown San Diego. I live just outside of Little Italy where prices are very high. They're ridiculous, in fact. I have a view property. The prices are like literally on and 
I believe they call it Bankers Hill or Knob Hill, depending on who you ask. We're right above Little Italy. The prices here are ridiculous, right? Because we have a view into the bay. My perspective, we have airplanes landing, right? But the truth is I can move to Vegas, get five times the size of my home for literally 25% of what this property costs. That's reality. And that's what's caused this demand. The demand is in investors and in people taking advantage of their equity. That's it. Will it end? Well, that's the question that everybody's asking. That is the question you're all asking that are on the call. If you're in real estate or you're watching this as a replay, if I decide to send it out as a replay, that's what you want to know. To get here, you need to understand a lot about me. This is my entire life. I grew up wanting to be a chef and my father told me that was the dumbest thing he had ever heard in his entire life. And so he made me, he made me, I'm in therapy, I'm working on it. I uh, went into this business doing foreclosure work at a very young age. And if you're wondering if that has deep lasting psychological scars, it does, along with the fact that I was bullied, dyslexic, a bad student. I, I struggled constantly with who I am and what I am, right? But I still managed to make the best of being in the banking industry. I excelled at the highest levels, being, v being a VP, being an asset manager, being it, all the different facets. When I was in real estate, I built houses. That was my end game, and I did it. Right. When I finally came into this sector to educate people about default properties and doing the marketing on default properties, I wanted to be that guy. And I'm that guy. Uh, it's not something I chose for my life. It's just something I'm good with. And what's more important is the mission of Home Advocates, which is to educate you and to educate a million homeowners. They're not getting a good education. We talk about this in our group all the time. Are we doing enough? Are we doing enough, right? My desk, literally once a day, somebody brings in a file to me or there are no physical files, take a deep breath. Once a day, my CEO, Derek Kelly, will come in here and go, hey, we got an investor situation. What can we do? Nothing. Nothing. They've already signed the papers. What do you want me to magically do? Sue them, make them go away? The problem is the first thing you see in every downturn is fraud. And the fraud is coming from investors looking to buy property and gobble them up. I work with investors. I work really hard on coaching and teaching investors how to work with people who've defaulted on properties. Uh, we don't teach them strategies. We don't lie to homeowners. Their people are targeting old people who have made payment. There are millions and millions and millions, and I'm going to show you in just a moment, millions and millions of people that have gone nowhere. They just haven't been put onto the market yet. And when that does, those people will be taken advantage of. It is our mission. It is the mission of the people that I teach. Uh, it's the unspoken pact that we are here to educate homeowners. I ask everyone one thing, right? Yes, I have a coaching program. Yes, it costs money to invest in that program to learn my marketing and to use our stuff and to use our logos and to wind up on front page of Google. All that is very real, right? That's what supports us to do our mission. Our mission is that Instead of calling a standard ABC, always be closing real estate agent, or a damn great white shark like a bank, or investors who don't care who they trample on, I want home advocates, I want that logo to stand for more in the coming year. It's my mission. It's the reason I work so hard on me. It's the reason I try to connect so hard with the people that we work with. It's very difficult and emotional for me every time I hear a deal that can't be fixed. I can't fix them all. I can't. They've already done what they've done, right? 
So hopefully by what we teach you here today, whether or not you invest or want to work with us, the truth of the matter is you'll be better for it, right? You'll be better for it. You'll have your own ideologies. You'll have your own whatever. But the truth is, if you're a little bit better and you talk to somebody who's missed a payment and you give them good advice, I'm going to give you some free downloads. If you do something, then this uh, webinar here for me, especially here at Christmas time and at the end of the year was worthwhile. I, I was asked throughout the year, why are you giving our marketing pieces to people? I want to help a million homeowners. From 2007 to 2010, I taught people how to do short sales and I didn't really consider the lives that were involved. I didn't really consider the millions of people that I impacted by teaching people across the country or the programs that you join, like SFR or CDPE. They're all based on me. This is different. This is a substantially different moment. We're on the verge of an everything collapse, like the Great Depression modern. They can't bail this out. There's too many systems failing. You can't keep throwing money at it. If you know anything about money, we've just been pushing back debt. Uh, uh, some of you have a very strong background in macroeconomics or you understand the economics of what's going on. How far are we gonna push it back? Like, when does it end? I'm gonna start the presentation right now. And for the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna show you the real numbers and how it's being manipulated by the media both the right and the left. They're both fake news. Got it? They're just selling. And what they're selling right now is Christmas, not you're going to die soon. Join AARP if you're on Fox, uh, you have a small penis, buy Cialis, or you can't get hard, whatever, right? That's what they sling for the rest of the year, okay? Right now, they're selling Christmas. They're selling Target. They're selling Walmart. So you're not going to hear about stories. If you have any questions, I'll stay long after. I have until 1030, apparently. And I'm happy to show you guys this. This all working very well. Everybody see everything? Anybody have any questions before we begin? It's a good introduction. Derek came in and gave me a rah-rah pitch. I've just been very stressed out. I stayed up. YouTube changed its algorithm. If you know anything about me, I'm a, my big thing right now is content marketing, right? Make videos. Put the videos where people are in your network. Get people to click on those videos, right? Build your brand. It's a thing. I'm a little obsessed with it. Everybody good? Show of hands. I'm looking over at you guys. I have a good profile, except for my broken nose. One hand raised. The rest of you are just hating life. I thought it was a good introduction. Dr. Miller was a good introduction. That was funny. Thank you, Marvin. Marvin is a sweet man. And we like the same music, so it's good. All right, let's get going. Uh, look carefully at these stories. They've been curated from October. Why, that's a decade ago. In October, which is the last time you could really pull any information about the market, uh, you could pull the same information up until the Thursday before thanks, uh, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So here's what was happening in the market. Right, left, doesn't matter. They all had the same story. Uh, first time buyers were out because prices were too high, okay? NAR released their numbers. This is a November report that we were declining two and three quarters percent per month, month over month. But hey, year over year, look at how much we've gone and how far we've grown, huh? So much better. We're like 6% up and we'll, look, even at this current rate, when it gets like over here, year over year, it's still great, but how long does the decline have to be for NAR for them to actually go, mm, property median price is in decline? This is now three months of a decline at two and three quarters percent. San Francisco is a couple months into a 5% decline. Real, 
Doug's on the call. Very, 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 very real. These are all very real things happening. And if you want to stick your head in the sand and ignore these things happening, that's cool. I just don't know why you're on this call. 30% uh, of home uh, buyers have stopped moving out of metros like they saw a decrease of 30%. This is October. Look at the dates. October, 30%. I'm sure that number went down, right? Going into the holiday is one of the hottest buying parts of the season for most of the United States. I said that with a lot of sarcasm and cynically, but the truth is it's really bad, right? Like I'm, I guarantee this number went up, but you're not going to find any reports on this till the magic date. Uh, we know about Zillow and Zillow jumped out of buying properties. If you are a person on this call that believes that Zillow is run by a bunch of idiots or morons, or whatever. Okay, that's not the case. This is a $5 billion company. That's actual. Uh, Zillow has more data than all of us. Can I, I can't make it any simpler than this. This was a money producing funnel for them that they turned off in November that has not been mentioned again. But for those that are in the market with Zillow properties, you know that they're liquidating properties below market value. They're doing it. They did it. It's done. This is a video. I don't, outrage this morning. I don't think we have audio because I don't think I shared it. What you're looking at is um, Wells Fargo getting out of this during the summer. Wells Fargo has pushed back everything to January 22nd. That means that they're waiting until their fourth quarter numbers before they actually start to do their foreclosure work. That's reality. That's what we're looking at. And what did they say about Wells Fargo not doing equity lines, reducing their debt, really tightening up the shit? Not shit, ship, right? Seems unfair. And these reporters on CNBC, they're idiots. They're idiots at Wells Fargo. That seems to be what people label you when you change the market criteria, when you change how you operate your business, let's take Facebook. Oh, they're censoring us. They own the company. They can do whatever they want. Okay, it's their platform. If you don't like it, you can leave. Okay, if you don't like the way Wells Fargo is operating, you can leave. If you're unhappy with Zillow, don't buy leads from them, right? You don't like the National Association of Realtor because they've got the Department of Justice breathing down their necks because they're a monopoly, yet they arbitrarily for them can sell their data to whomever they want or their websites, whatever they want, right? I don't know if you're a realtor or get to vote on whether or not they sold realtor.com, but as I recall, you didn't. Where'd that 300 million go that they got for the website? or whatever it was, right? We don't get any of that. We look at it and we listen to the people that are in peer positions and we nod our head. If you're on the left, you watch CNBC and CNN. If you're on Fox, you, if you're the right, you watch Fox, right? Or American News or whatever that other one is. I don't know if that's real. Expressing outrage this Can I skip forward on this without having to go through it? There we go. Uh, mortgage delinquencies. This is Black Knight. This report is from November. Look carefully at the top number. Total delinquencies. Total, total. Total, total. Okay. Right. Right here. Right. I don't know if my arrow is showing up. I'm kind of bouncing it around. Uh, it's about 2 million. Let's just call it about 2 million for the sake of discussion. There aren't 2 million names on the FICO system right now because the FICO system is turned off. Right. And let's talk about forbearances, which are not considered delinquent properties. This number has actually come down in the last month because people are terrified. It's now much closer to 1 million. So let's all do our math. 2 million plus 1 million is 3 million. And by the way, they're all guesses, right? Nobody's going to know until you turn on the FICO system and until people actively foreclose. And nobody seems to want to pull the trigger on turning on the FICO system or anything until 
Drum roll, please. January. Why? Fourth quarter numbers. Let's all have shiny, happy numbers for one more quarter. Make our investors happy. I don't think that they planned that the Fed was actually going to start tapering off. Like the only monetary news that should matter is the Dow Jones. Uh, I'm sure there are some real hardcore people on this call that follow the stock market. Is the stock market still tanking again today? Or did it recover from the next COVID, Omicron, you know, whatever? And fourth quarter, everybody understand? The stock market is volatile. That's why investors are buying real estate. Does that make sense to everybody? Any of you real stocky people except Marvin? Stock markets ain't life. We can look at it for this morning, but that's reality. These are real. And then there's mortgage delinquencies, right? I love this particular thing. So in Q2, of 2021, they're saying that 5.47%, right, are delinquent. If you want to talk about this historically, we were in the 4 or 5% range in 2007, and that was considered catastrophic. 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 Well, that's good news, Sally. I'm glad to see that the markets have stabilized. So you can believe what you want to believe. All of this information was good until November, right? Until November. And then something remarkable had occurred. And let's talk about that remarkable thing. It was the holidays. So now we're talking about Joe Manchin. And now we're talking about South Africa and Omicron and vaccines and Biden and Manchin and more Fauci, who is now more like a Muppet character. I don't need your politics on whether or not to take a vaccine. I make this clear to everybody. Your government very much wants you alive. They very much want, don't want to microchip you. They very much don't want you. I, I'll say it again. They don't want you to die. They want you paying taxes. This country would collapse if people really started to die, right? They make money on you being alive. They're going to do everything in your power. They let you eat what you want, do what you want, and they actually just keep fixing you to keep you alive so that they have tax money to keep whatever it is that we do in the United States going. I'm not a politics guy. I couldn't even tell you how they're pissing through that much money, okay? But if the United States was a company that I was the CEO of, I would declare bankruptcy, throw it into a dumpster, pour gasoline on it, and toss in several matches, okay? We run this, we have literally run this country into the ground. We have elected both left and right lunatics, okay? That's my opinion. No, you're wrong. It's about freedom and this and that. Grow up. The only thing that's real is what people know two weeks ago and two weeks forward. That's all the people in the United States care about and whether or not they got a greasy cheeseburger. That's my opinion. What proof on a real estate level? Okay. <laughs> there are a million people who took out forbearance programs thinking, fully thinking that it's no big deal, but actively putting themselves into default. Anybody give them an education and explain that that's a defaulted situation? Don't think they did. But if you look, it's the media that does it. Why? They don't work for politics. They work for Target. They work for Walmart. We're in the business of selling Christmas right now. All of this stuff that you're looking at on the screen, which I look at every day, go through every story, click on the business section, go through it. You're not seeing anything about any of those stories I just talked about, which until November were on here. Evictions was just a couple of months ago with 7 million people facing evictions. We don't talk about it anymore. They didn't fix the problem. It's still happening, okay? It's still happening. Everything I've just showed you is still happening. It's insane, right? But what are we worried about? 
we're worried about what he has, she has, or Omicron, or come on. We have allowed the media, a content provider, no different than your favorite YouTube channel, right? No different than Screen Junkies or any of the other things that you see over on the left side. And I subscribe to everyone. No different. No different than The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. No different than Mythical Kitchen and watching Josh make menus and recipes. It's no different. You know what Josh is selling? He's selling his shirts and his spoons or his t-shirts from Good Mythical Morning or New Rock Stars, which is a nerdy comic. What are they selling? T-shirts. They're slinging things. We've allowed the media to control this company, uh, country just to buy, just to buy. And people love to be scared. But not during the holiday. What happened to the supply chain shortage? Did it just end? Did that no longer a thing? Because we don't talk about it in the news anymore. We don't talk about it in the news. All over. What happened? Did they magically go down to the port and you know, use a plunger and make it work right? That's not a thing. The truth is, we're selling Target, we're selling Walmart, and we're selling Christmas, and you should spend all your money. Because come January, this all shifts again. It shifted in November. The next shift is in January. And you will remember this moment when I told you when you wake up one morning, because people only know two weeks forward and two weeks backwards. Right now, has anybody seen a raw, raw real estate market pitch from anybody? No, you haven't. I know because thanks to YouTube, they filter it. And by the way, this isn't right or left. It's everyone. They keep track of everyone. Fox is in here. The Hill is in here. CNBC is in here. Reuters the other day actually broke my heart. I thought Reuters was a little bit better. And I wound up doing a deep dive on Reuters, which was sort of my go-to for a long time on news. And I realized, Jesus, they follow the trends too. Two weeks forward, two weeks backwards. That's all people know. They know one month. Those are your clients. Those are people you work with, right? So in prepping for next year, if you accept everything that I've just given you, you don't have to believe me. You can believe the market's okay. That's great. Right now, the market is great. The market's great right now for most people. But I'll tell you what's not great, getting a listing. Everybody agree on that? Getting a listing with two and a half million real estate agents, which is close to a million more than we had a year ago because of this monstrous acceleration and people delusionally believing that during COVID they could do real estate from the comfort of their living room, which I don't know how that works. Have you seen a solution out of the real estate agent coaches? No, they're teaching you better ways to make presentations or doing it remotely or get on TikTok. TikTok, right? That's what they're doing. The question is, what are you doing? What niche are you working to get your next listing? I agree that we can all get buyers. I used to be in the business of funneling buyers. It was one of the lead sources that I provided for the people I coached. I no longer do that. Okay. So I'm going to show you, and hopefully you take this information and you focus on it. I'm going to give you guys a link. If you're watching this as a replay and there's no links, I don't know what to tell you. I'll probably send this out to everybody who was on the call and everybody who signed up. And there will be a link for the downloads. I'll put red up which is the one I did last Wednesday and this one. These are my last two for the year. Uh, I will probably just be doing something casual next week. I have no idea what I'll be doing. But if everybody clicks on that link, it's going to take you to this page right here. So last, uh, these two links are coming down. That's not a sales pitch. That's a fact. For those of you that saw the red stuff last Wednesday, there was no link to join red. If you didn't sign up last week, you don't get to, I, Derek came and told me the whole, hey, there are people who want to sign up after the first of the year. Good for them. It's double the price, probably, uh, because I can do more with it now. I've learned more in just one week by having additional people in that program. $100 a week 
is now turning into two or 3,000 people looking at you and your message of being a home advocate per week. So if the link's available, I highly recommend that you do it because whatever. I'm, not, I'm, I'm done. Please, if you're watching this, don't come back on January 1st and go, hey, remember when we had that phone call? Remember when we had the this? And I said I had to wait for this and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Cool. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'll override everybody in the company on this one. I'm done being a nice guy. The prices are going up. The links are coming down. Enough said on the topic. If I've never worked for you, work with you before, I highly re recommend getting into our program. Uh, the prices are going to go up. You can actually go to the front page of our website, homeadvocates.io or Google Home Advocates, right? And click join Home Advocates. The price that's here is not going to change. <laughs> if you click on get started, this price isn't going to change for what we call the vibranium group we've been we talked about this yesterday it, it should be titanium or platinum i think vibranium is very nerdy i love it but that's our program for next year to be in that group with automated leads and the call center and all the bells and whistles truth is i'm i've got a different program in mind that the general public because they will be here you guys all remember short sales for those of you that have been in real estate long enough that's why sfr exists and cdp it, CDPE exist and those programs exist, right? When the market turns, people will jump on it and they will create programs to work that niche. Your favorite coach, generally, and I've worked with them all, will call me to help them structure something for their program. I'm not doing any of that this time. The only things you'll be able is if you're a broker, you can have your entire office train and pay a monthly fee or you can join the program and pay a monthly fee. We're doing one-time fees for lifetime enrollments. If you're, if I've ever worked with you all the way back to short sale genius, if you work with David, it's a one-time fee. Enough of that. For those of you who've never seen this before, state-by-state -state numbers and state-by-state -state evictions are listed here on two different articles that are great. Uh, one of my older PowerPoints is here, but there are three great things on here that have been added. The graph from NAR is here that you can get your hands on and download. Our, our COO, Fred Solomon, some of you know, this is what he calls the cost of waiting. It's a marketing piece that he has not changed, he said, in five years that still works today. He was kind enough to offer it to everybody on the call about a month ago. And the third is our marketing pieces. Everything I'm going to talk about is in here, and you can use these templates, right? And you can use the introduction letters. You can use my Ask the Banker. You can use my alternatives to foreclosure. Uh, and a white label book uh, download for some of this as well. Put your name on a book if you want to do that whole download squeeze thing. This is all free for you being on the call, right? Look carefully down below if you're watching this on a replay on an email or you're watching this video on a replay on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Go click that link. If there is no links to sign up for Red or any of the programs on here, okay, I apologize. You can wait until January 15th. Uh, actually, our first webinar of next year will be that first Monday in January. And there will be 300 people on this call. There always are. I'll be doing live presentations that week as well. They will be the biggest rooms. You all know this. That's when real estate agents get into the swing for the coming year. If you've never seen how our program works, here is the five minute explanation of what it is that we do. Once you invest, right? Right. Once you invest, you click on my library. And in my library, there are three pieces. The hub is going to, this first one's going to change. I'm actually shooting it with Derek next week. I agreed that I would reshoot it all if he took us to Vegas for Christmas as a company. That's all it took to get a Vegas trip and two tickets to Cirque du Soleil and uh, a very fancy schmancy steak dinner. That's the way to do it. Uh, we have a home advocates community live Q&A. Plus you can reach Derek and I. My cell phone's online. Derek's available. 833-966-4673. Everything comes through me. I see everything. 
more importantly, we have the hub. There are three programs. One is the 12-step program that some of you know as the monster program or the AMS program. We've refined it. When you join the platinum group, right? That is 66% discounted if it's your first time working with me. If you're, right, it's 75% discounted if you're upgrading. The hardest part is getting the leads. And that's what they're talking about right now on the call. They're sending you customized leads to you and your area. We send them to you. The call center itself, if you've never seen our process, is pretty amazing, right? Uh, it is a perfected system that we've been using for 11 years. I won uh, top marketer, most innovative marketer. I got named on a bunch of sites, wrote a book about the whole thing when I first created it, invented it out of thin air a decade ago. It has gone through every department and bureau of real estate. It is the only permission, a man I'd like to call mentor and friend, Seth Godin wrote permission-based marketing. When I read it, it changed my life. And it made me spend the last decade trying to be the best permission marketer on the planet. I wanted to be the ultimate permission-based marketer. So I obsessed and everything I do is permission-based. I want the homeowners to call me. I want them to call you. And that's what this program is. It's a simple 12-step program where you download our marketing piece, right? It's, you know, you buy Avery labels. None of this is difficult. It isn't. And you download our template. It looks like a uh, delivery label system. Let me see if I've got it on here. <laughs> uh, no, that's red. Huh, that's an older one. Oh, well, never mind. That's fine. Uh, you download the marketing pieces. It's got our 800 number. That's why I don't have it up. We also tested out postcards. We tested out everything, but basically a delivery level. You place it on the property. Hold on, I have one right here. That you saw on the floor. How exciting for all of you. An empty screen. Let's hopefully the green screen won't go crazy. This always turns into a thing with the green screen. So they look like they're delivery levels, right? You put the last name and the tracking number on there and you put it on their property. We send you the leads, you put it on the property. That 800 call goes to a call center. The call center has a script that explains that you're a homeowner advocate and you want to come over and teach them the 12 alternatives to the nine alternatives to foreclosure. 12, nine alternatives to foreclosure, which by the way, if you go back, the same one that I gave you guys as a free download on this page. We did that for you, right? And that's it. Once you get the appointment, you click here, you download your package. We do a one-on-one -on -one with you and teach you how to do it. Uh, there's a video of me doing it. There's even a video from Gilbert, one of our coaching students, explaining his first outing. I'm not here to do all that testimonial stuff. We have the face-to-face -face method, which I personally think is the greatest thing ever. Uh, I think this is the most powerful template we have. I'm actually changing it slightly for next year. I'm testing out those little business cards that you can tap on people's phones. And if that's the case, I'm gonna show you where to get one. They're like, you can get one for like 20 bucks or something. They're not much. You can get a really nice one for 50. I'm testing it actually with Derek. They should be here this week and they'll be fun to try out in Vegas, right? The number one question you should be after, right? for the last decade when I've been teaching people marketing, you want people to ask you what you do. And in that moment, when they ask you what you do, you wanna have the most credibility possible. So originally we created this template and that's what it is, it's a template. Uh, and it explains how to do it. And I don't mind showing you what they look like. There's the logo on the back and on the front, is a testimonial from somebody that we helped here at Home Advocates. You're with Home Advocates when you join with me, right? So you can use the testimonial. Home Advocates did help this person. We saved their home. Simple as that. More importantly, you can go on Google and I recommend everybody do this, right? Let's say that Don Betts, one of our students, 
home advocates. All you have to do is type in home advocate, Don Bet home advocate, or your name, or Marvin or Terrell or any of them. It's on the front page. It's Googled immediately. Why are you doing that? There it is. You're all listed on the front page of Google. More importantly, you can go to Google. I don't know why that's happening. I wonder if my site got hacked. I've got to fix that. Or it could just be a flaw. Something fun to fix again today. Just type in home advocates or home advocate. Guess who comes up page one, line one? It's us, period. We take up the first three line. I actually beat real organizations here in San Diego and nationally. No matter what you look on, Yahoo, Google, or whatever. We're, yeah, that's weird. Why is Google doing that? Remind me to fix that, Derek. That'll be my next project before my next call. Right? All of our stuff is page one, line one. We are. And you're listed on the front page of that website. There you go. Where, is, where are you? Come back to me. All of you are listed as home advocates on the front page. And it's searchable. That's automatic credibility when you're talking to someone on the phone. Tell them to open their phone and type it in. I'm actually working on one of those um, cards where you just tap their phone and it puts their information right on the phone and it'll have a video. I'm going to get you a testimonial video. That's brand new for 2022. That'll be out next year. Will not be a part of the other program. It's only going to be a part of the platinum program, but uh, or titanium or vibranium. Sorry, it amuses me to say it to no end. That's that program. We do three coaching calls per week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I do have an iBuyer program. We have put a few deals through. It's getting harder. Investors are a little more questioning right now. We have a program for investors. All they have to do is call me with their deal. We had a call yesterday about somebody trying to make a deal. I wish I could tell him how to make that deal, but I can't. It's got to go through probate. Uh, I also put books and audio in there. My entire uh, archive system is there and the webinars and all of our past trainings are in here as well. So there's the link for any of you who've never signed up with me. This will go out as a replay. You can watch the video that's on there that does a much deeper dive on how the program works or how the 12 step program works. And if the links are there and they're live, then you can sign up. If they are not, do not come back after the links are taken down. I don't care what deal you have with Derek. I don't, I don't care. I have allowed my CEO and COO to be nice to all of you that are just waiting. And when you come back, I'm not doing it. I'm not. You're devaluing me. You're devaluing my time. I, I recently had somebody who was calling me who wanted me to private consult. I charge $500 an hour. You can have me for 10 straight hours. I'm like a pet. You can put me in the corner like a Chia pet, but I recommend you let me do what I do for 10 straight hours. And for that 10 straight hours, I will do marketing. I will tell you what's wrong. I will show you broken funnels. Uh, and I guarantee my results. Everything I do is guaranteed. My program here, the Home Advocates program, is guaranteed to get you face-to-face. If not, we refund your money, no questions asked. We do everything through PayPal. They are aware of my refund policy. We did the RED program. I am guaranteeing a listing within the first 90 days, or I will refund that. It's only $100 a week, and I'm guaranteeing a listing in 90 days. Mind-boggling, my guarantees. If you know of another real estate program for any niche, that guarantees my results, I would love to hear about it, but they don't. Not even Zillow for the ungodly amount of money that they charge guarantees that those will become listings. They won't. And the bulk of what they give you is actually crap if you want my opinion. So take advantage of the link if you want to join the program. Take advantage if there's a red link, join the red link. If I'm going to send it all out as an email, I'm going to put it all up on the page, I'm going to run it all through. But when I take the links down, the only page that's going to have them is this event page. That's the only place you can get these discounts. I'm going to put all of them up. 
with all of the videos. That's it. Literally, when I take them down, I do not want to hear it. I, I don't care. Derek will come in and pitch a story, but I talk to her and I promise. Don't care. I don't care. I've been nice for the last month. I'm done. Because come that January, when all of the media shifts, come January 15th, when people start releasing their Q4 numbers, and come January 22nd, when Wells, Chase, and B of A all crap back out everything on the FICO system, everybody's going to come here. Everyone. Programs will be double, triple, quadruple what they are right now. And people will pay it because I guarantee my results. None of the other programs in real estate. You can't slap CDPE or SFR on you and expect to get a listing based on that. Nobody knows it. You know what I can do when somebody misses a payment? I tell them to type in the word home advocates. And they find me immediately. That's the truth. Because they know those two words, home and advocate. It's what a realtor should be at their core. It's what we all are. It's all what we all want to be. We all want to make a difference. We all want to help people. People I work with today, that even the calls I've done, they're, they're amazing. The people that I work with all believe in this goal of helping a million people. And I want you to join that. I want you to be a part of that. I want you to take advantage of the links. But my generosity, and Derek knows this about me, when I reach the end of my generosity, and that's what it is, I believe you're taking advantage of me. I believe you're taking advantage of Derek, which I've seen some students do, because he's nice. He'll return your calls. We do one-on-ones. I watch people call and call and call and call again. Send him an email. He'll respond every time. Send me an email. I'll respond. You can't join other programs and get a hold of the people who run the company. Most of you know Fred Solomon, my COO. He's amazing. He will take your call. That's the way we operate here. We're going to keep it mom and pop. We're going to keep it the way we run it. But don't believe you can be in this program with automated leads and a call center that's already set up for you. All that's done. It was a very expensive trial. We actually lost money in our first year of business creating uh, an automated program. But I have people in it, so I'll keep it. And it's a fun place. I get to experiment. This is I guess in stand-up comedy, this is my open mic room where I try out all my marketing ideas. Uh, the stuff I sell to the regular market is all perfected stuff. Like the 12-step program already works. I just have to make it the way it used to be. And I'm going to charge a monthly fee. And it's not going to be all this other stuff. And you're not going to get my archives. And you're not going to get, you know, three coaching calls. Are you crazy? That, that's not a thing. Uh, that's for this platinum group. They get a marketing call. They get the Wednesday call, which you guys are on. And they also get a conversion call on Thursday. Get a one-on-one. -on -one. You don't get an hour anymore. In the program, you get 20-minute walkthrough with Derek, and that's it. If you want to upgrade that, you can pay Derek's time. If you want me to talk to you, you can pay my fee. I People think that when you try to make things affordable for people, people devalue it. The truth is, I know what people will pay when the market turns and agents will pay to be a part of. I'm more concerned about what they have and how they do it because I want my message to be carried out. I want this education of the nine alternatives to be carried out, which is why I gave you the download. Just read it to people who've missed payments. You'll find people, they'll want to sell their house. They're actually doing it right now. We've had listings. It's taking about 30 to 60 days for people to get their first listing through the 12-step program right now. 